I'm a great fan of N-fed wire antennas for portable use. There's three main reasons. They don't need any bulky coax feed line. You can use a single support to hold them up, just like this fishing pole for instance, and you can get several bands out of them. But I'm lazy and I wanted a bit more. My favourite bands for portable use are 40 and 20 metres. I wanted a single antenna that would operate on both bands without any adjustments of antenna couplers etc. I think I found a solution. It's an N-fed half wave, full length on 20 metres and a shortened length on 40 metres. On 40 metres it uses this loading coil. There's nothing original about this antenna. It was inspired by a commercial product, the PAR N-fed multiband. That covers 40 and 20 metres, also 10 metres thrown in as a bonus. The matching unit for that is actually different to that used for the single band versions. It was easy to get the basic antenna going, however the mechanical construction was more of a challenge. Initially I wanted a single length of wire for both the antenna and the loading coil. However, that was somewhat awkward to pack and in the end I went for something detachable. I'm using banana sockets as they are reasonably firm. You can probably see the price tag on the antenna loading coil, $2.00. The former Forthwick loading coil originated with a feather duster. The matching unit is simple. A BNC connection for the transceiver and a binding post for the antenna wire. Inside there's a ferrite toroidal transformer. It's fine for 5 watts but I wouldn't use it for much higher power. On the toroidal transformer there's 27 turns secondary and 3 turns primary. 3 turns to 27, or 1 to 9, is an impedance transformation ratio of 1 to 81. 50 times 81 brings you into the thousands, ideal for N-fed half-wave wire antennas. The compression trimmer capacitor, up to maybe 4 or 500 picofarads. The trimmer capacitor is set for lowest SWR on 10 metres and then left alone. Here's the antenna laid out along the deck. At the bottom of the half wave section on 20 metres, or about 10 metres long, is the matching unit. At the top of the 10 metre section is a loading coil and a short tail. They are used on 40 metres only. They make the antenna a loaded half wave vertical on 7 meg. probably no such thing as an ideal antenna for HF portable, but for my needs this one is pretty good. It covers the two bands of most interest to me, 40 and 20 metres. They are most active at the times that I normally go out portable. It was easy to build and light to carry. There's no bulky coax feed line. And it needs just a single support so I can go to places where there aren't any trees and just put up my pole and away I go. It also suits lazy people like me. There's no bulky antenna coupler to change when you alter bands. Instead, there's just a small impedance step-up transformer and that seems to work okay for 40 metres, 20 metres and, as a bit of a bonus, 10 metres as well. 